mashing it with the fork. And your fingers. I hope those things are clean. That's right. I would prefer American Whip in this, but uh, I'm going to try a couple little dollops of uh, Hellman's mayonnaise. Mix it up in here. Also, if you had a, what is also good in here is if you had a little bit of a relish. Gives it a little bit of a extra flavor. And you could eat this with crackers. You could put it on a sandwich. It's very reminiscent. I don't know if, you, if they still make it. The Underwood Deviled Ham. I think we've had that, Brandy. I think we've had Armor. Deviled Ham? Yeah. And uh, that's basically pretty much this with the mayo. Okay. A little spread. Oh, yeah. Make a little spread for crackers or a sandwich. Yeah. And now we're going to try it. Yeah. There we go. Are we trying it plain? I'm going to try it like plain and then, and then with cracker. Now, did you eat it like this or did your mom serve it to you uh, on bread? Uh, on a sandwich. Okay. On a sandwich. Well, I think the mayonnaise is overpowering that. I think there's a lot of salt action going yeah. on between the mayonnaise. It'd be, it would be 100 times better with Miracle Whip than mayonnaise. I think maybe, I don't like Miracle Whip, but maybe this would be better with Miracle Whip and less. Mm -hmm. And some relish in there, some Miracle Whip. Put that on, a, on some bread. I'm sorry, the cracker is stale. Just the cracker is stale. No, that cuts down. Yeah. Oh, it's better on the cracker. Yeah, way mm -hmm. better on the cracker. Even though it's funny, the cracker is salty itself. Mm -hmm. That it makes it... The spread tastes less salty. Yeah, it cuts the salt down. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not horrible. It's also better chilled uh, as a as a spread than it yeah. is um, room temperature. Also, so I think what I might do, I might chill this. Might add a few chopped up pickles in there, and I'll give it a shot later. See how it is. Okay. So <laughs>